let's get started with demo of that green architecture with sqrs pattern and this is last session of this series okay and here we'll learn in this session how we can you know uh, validate our you know request whatever you know request we have to send like for example like if i just remove uh, if i empty if i remove that model is empty okay so let me check like that okay so see once you send that empty body okay this request for the create block you are able to see those validation okay so that will implement in this session okay how we can achieve with the fluent api okay so that is a, a concept of that you know uh, a package okay that is a package or we can say like as a as a library where we can implement very easily in this clean architecture okay so like for example see this is more create also if you update so then also we can justify trying to remove you know those things okay means body also we have not passed any you know the valid things in you know, a valid id so definitely it will give also that validation message okay see those are properties required and not means and also it is a 400 same things for delete as well if i passing a delete but that is not exist so it's also give us the validation for example which is not is present right so see it is giving this error okay validation fails block id does not exist okay so such kind of things also we can implement with fluent api okay and let's see the code for the demos perspective okay it is very simple on a straightforward code see we have to create an abstract validator and the abstract validator will validate everything for whatever command will pass it and we have to set it okay so let's get a start for implementation open your application layer okay and inside this application layer we have a behavioral uh, uh, folder okay so inside behavioral we have to create one more class at a generic, cl generic class that will handle our validation behavior okay so let's call it to validation behavior.cs class okay let's add that class inside here okay and then one more things we have to check in our application layer go to manage packages okay is there we have already added or not that fluent dependency packages okay so if that packages exist uninstalled okay so that is fine if it is not there so then you have to install okay so that is just prerequisition for this validation fluent api uh, validation okay so what i need to do i just you know implement here like see i need to create a this generic class like request and response and i need to add that mediator r class uh, interface okay so that whatever request will get that will handle that mediator r okay we don't call this class to anywhere okay so that will call automatically while our command query will send to our you know uh, that is sending to our application layer okay and here just what need to do after you know here so just try to implement okay so go to implement interface okay and make it to you know just create to implement over here okay so how we can do that it's very simple first what need to do i have to create a constructor for that okay so that i can whatever our request you know generic request so that i can handle why the uh, that that uh, fluent api validator okay so the shortcut is constructor ctr and then what i need to do i just create i enumerable and pass it to i validator okay and this is inside of see 
inside of that uh, Fluent API. Okay, and then Fluent API, and then what I need to do, I have to pass the T request. Okay, and then finally I need to add one variable. Okay, and then I have to set that private private property and this field and make make it to assign inside the constructor so we have to inject that validator inside that constructor level okay once it is done what i need to do i need to implement i need to uh, put the some logic for the implementation so what would what would be that let me just trying to copy paste over here okay it's very straight or simple let me make it to async so that that complaint can has gone okay it's very simple first we have to check whatever these validators it have any or not it will check one is done then we'll create a context and this context actually will try to validation the result okay and whatever validation result will get after that we check it is failure or not if any failures error on this uh, no command we'll store over this variable and then finally we have to throw that result and send it to next it is very simple nothing is complex okay this is done for this validation behavior class implementation okay and make it to public so that this can be accessible outside of the class okay by mediator R. okay once it's done then what need to do i need to create you know that validation uh, whatever where we want okay so first i'll show you in this create command so create command whatever the create command will come okay if any empty like we have not passed anything okay so then how we can handle like okay how we how they request we would know like it is empty it is not empty like that okay so what need to do first you have to create one one class over here that is called is a validator class okay uh, validator create block command okay so let me copy this class name so that we can create a similar kind of you know following that name in conventions okay so yeah create block command validator okay so that is fine let me create that class and now what need to do we have to just call that class okay whatever we have to create it okay so what is our class name uh, not class that class but yeah we have a call is abs okay see this is inside we have to call actually okay so what i need to call over here i need to inherit one fluent api uh, abstract class okay so what is that name abs abstract validator okay see it is inside of that you know fluent api validation okay so let me call it here and then pass whatever your command okay so what is our command we need to validate i need to validate our create block command okay and make it to public okay and then what I need to do, I need to create a logic inside the constructor so, so that once it will get call automatically, it should be, you know, first fired of that, you know, validation. Okay. Now, what I need to do, I need to write some validation logic over here. Okay. So let me get this code. Okay. It is very simple. See, I need to call rules for whatever our entity okay so that re entity refer for this command one okay so once you referred so you will get all the property over here okay see whatever property you will get over here so i just pass it to you know this one for the name name is required see require rules for this and then we have to set that okay it is not empty then name is required and also we have set that maximum length okay so it's two validation we have to put over here same things for description we just passed it and not required and also not empty and not required okay and that is done for here okay 
and then what I need to do the last things we have to set in this configuration that uh, that uh, that Fluent API configuration. Okay, so that whatever assembly will get so that automatically can fire. Okay, so how we can do that? It's very simple. Let me call. That is important actually. Services dot add validator add add validator assemblies add validators from assemblies okay add validators from assembly okay and then just pass it to assembly dot get assembly so that all the assembly will can get it over here and then what need to do the final things we have to do over here for validation okay ctg dot add behavior okay and this add behavior we have to pass or whatever i we have created that class right so that we have to uh, we have to register over here so type of whatever i pipe line behaviors okay and in this pipeline behaviors whatever request and response we have to pass it over here and then what is the implementation of that we have to pass it over here so what is that we have implementation class as well that validation validation behavior which is we created from starting okay validation behavior okay same things we have to over here like request and response okay that's it see it is only two things we have to do that okay let me re recap again so you have to add you know add validate add validators from assembly okay and get all the assemblies execute assemblies okay and then inside here you have to add behavior and you have to resolve your dependencies okay okay i think some thing we have missed over here we have to just yes we have to bracket over here okay so these two things is done now let me run and check it is behavior behavior as expected or not okay let me try to create without passing anything let me remove all the body and execute see it is working fine there is a no issue okay so same things you can do for all the all the you know all the command like this i created created for create block you can apply for delete you can update okay it is very simple so thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe